What's up guys? It's your boy Chad Christopher. Uh, we're doing a quick breakdown of my travel EDC today. You getting stuck as he feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run, we put you so the harvest is us. <laughs> you have been enjoying life, sipping the syrup and a line in the white. Taking whatever you touch, the sword of the wicked is covered in blood. I travel all over the place for work. A lot of times that's camera stuff. A lot of times that's traveling to somewhere like a range or something like that where we're filming. So I just wanna give a quick breakdown on what it is that I take with me. I'll give you an idea of the bags that I'm using. Starting out, first up, the iPad Pro. That's gotta go with you everywhere. We've got the Apple Pencil. When we're flying, it allows you to watch some Netflix. It allows you to get some work done, to draw a little bit, doodle a little bit. Love this guy. Of course, the laptop, I'm rocking the MacBook Pro. I think this one's a 2017 edition. Starting off kind of with the pocket dump stuff. Obviously we got the keys. Uh, I've got the Olight keychain on here, which is just kind of a carabiner. It's got a couple different, you know, little settings for like a branch or whatever. I don't know, some small ones. Then a bottle opener up top. Of course, I've got the G Drive. Now this is an SSD. If you're familiar with video photos and things like that, this is an absolute must. Transfer rates are super high. It's one terabyte. Very, very fast to be able to offload 5K footage on. Next up, the knife. Now obviously I'm, I'm not carrying this on me if I'm flying on an airplane or not. This is going on my check bag um, if I'm flying somewhere and then I'll just get it out when I get there. Or obviously if I'm just driving, this thing's sitting with me. So this is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. This one is in the sand color. Really, really been liking this knife. This guy, I just did a video on. This is the Axios Ironclad watch. I did a video on it recently, and literally, like, I said in the video that I've been wearing it a bunch, and I absolutely meant it. I've been wearing this thing every single day on all my travels, at the range, at the gym, everywhere I go. It's a very high-end looking and feeling watch. Listen, we got the Burt Bees. There's a lot of haters out there for Burt's Bees but uh, it's Burt's Bees or Bust, man. Other thing in the pocket is the DJI Osmo Action Cam. This is what you guys are seeing a lot of this kind of intermittent kind of travel -y, vloggy style stuff shot on. This is something that fits in my pocket. It goes with me pretty much everywhere so I can document it in a fun way, not worried about necessarily production value, just kind of capturing the moment stuff. Next up, I throw this in, you know, in my bag or whatever. I don't really have this in my pockets, but this is the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. This thing is an absolute beast. I think it's like 3,200 lumens or something like that, they claim. Absolutely blows up the sky. Uh, you know, whether you're out hiking or something, a lot of times we'll have shoots where we're, you know, outside until after dark. So this is something that I really do rely on. I like that it's rechargeable. We are rocking the iPhone 10s Max. Nothing really to talk about there, but I am obviously an Apple dude. I'm in the Apple ecosystem. System. When I'm traveling on the planes, you need yourself, you need yourself a good pair of noise canceling headphones because it's loud, you got the engines outside, you got babies crying, you know the whole deal. So you need some good noise canceling headphones. Right there, we got the Bose. Those things are the best. I've had all sorts of different ones. These ones outweigh all of them. There is a wireless version of these that I kind of wish I had. Super, super stoked on those Bose. Those things have been lifesavers on long flights. For a wallet, I have recently mixed up my wallet game. Travax reached out to me. They asked if they could send some of these out. Listen, I've been absolutely stoked on these things. So there's two different ones. Um, they have this little, really kind of intuitive little latch system. You tighten this screw down to how many cards you have, and then it just locks all your cards in place. On the back here, it's really nice soft leather. You've got a spot for your cash. There's like some stuff engraved right there. This one says, earn your story. I like that a bunch. You got a little bottle opener and stuff right there. The other one they sent out is this guy. Uh, this one's super dope because on the back, I don't know, here, I'm gonna set this right here so you guys can see that. They actually engraved it with green light shooting. So uh, big shout out to Trayvax for making that happen. Really dope setup, very soft leather, very robust. Again, they've got that little flip over notch. This one has a big flap on the back. You got cards, you got cash, whatever you wanna throw in there. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I'll put both of these models below. I don't remember what the model name is, but this one's kind of been my go-to. It's just a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker for me. It's got kind of a separate pouch for cash back here. So this has been my go-to. I'll make sure to uh, link those below. Um, and then Trayvax also has this nice little lanyard. Normally this is on my keys. I just wanted to take it off to show you guys it kind of on its own. Um, just a nice classy look, I think. And then finally, obviously I'm not flying with this, but if I'm traveling, you know, driving somewhere, uh, this is what I'm rocking EDC wise. We've got the Crossbreed Reckoning holster. And then inside we've got the SIG P365. This is the NRA edition. I've got the extended mag, but not the full extended. So I think this one's 10 rounds. And then the full extended is my additional mag that holds 12 rounds. 
absolutely, absolutely love this setup for concealed carry. Very, very comfortable. Um, and the fact that I can carry that high capacity in that small gun, huge, huge ups. So they hooked it up for Jonathan for his birthday. Uh, we each got our own, you know, just kind of standard, standard hotel room, but then they hooked it up with a shared living room. Welcome to the city of the nine sands. Pleasure Let's go. Right a shotgun alongside the divide in. Taking the piece of the pie takes for what's provided. We won't be silenced. The path is wide and we found our God in. Plus West Spit and these bricks for Babylon. All right, now I'm just gonna talk quickly about the bags I'm rocking. Uh, first up, we'll start with camera gear. So, like I said, when I'm flying for camera gear, when I'm flying for work, it's usually meaning that I'm filming somewhere, I've gotta have camera gear with me. Uh, so this is my red case. This is a Pelican 1510. There is an air version of this, which is a little bit lighter that I would like, but uh, I've had this one for a long time. I love the fact that it's FDE. I think it's just a cool look. Um, pop these open. Now keep in mind, I need to carry all lithium ion batteries with me onto the plane. I can't check anything with a lithium ion battery. So like these are all batteries that I have to have carried on. Uh, camera, this whole organizer setup, I think is like Trek Pack, I think is the brand. Super modular, you can set it up however you want. Very, very easy. A little bit pricier than I thought they'd be, but I haven't looked back since I had them. I've absolutely loved it. On the other side of this foam up here, I've got a little net organizer. This thing was like 15 bucks or something, and it just has stickies on the other side. You just stick it to the inside of the lid. I love the fact that I can have all these little additional accessories that I don't have to find room for them in here. So that is my primary camera case. This is carried on with me to all flights, and then I also have, uh, it varies, it switches between this backpack and the next one that I'm gonna show you. So this backpack is if I need some additional camera equipment. So uh, I've done a video on this backpack before. Uh, the thing I like about it is it's got side access, so you can pop this open. I've usually got camera here, mic here, uh, additional batteries and stuff right here. And then there's one of these on the other side of the bag up on top. I've got my drone and a couple other accessories, um, easy access for the drone so we can get in and out of place when we need to. And then the back, we've got room for that laptop and that tablet. So this is what is coming with me when I need additional camera equipment, like I said. When I don't need additional camera equipment and I can fit everything I need into that Pelican case, this, has been my new favorite backpack. These guys did send this backpack out. I've taken it on two trips now, and to be honest, I really like it. Number one, they made the size of this thing the perfect size for a carry-on. If you go to the airport carry-on section, uh, they essentially made this as big as they could possibly make it while still fitting in to that carry-on. So it's got a ton, a ton of room. On the front here, you can see we've got two uh, quick access pockets, and then flip these things all the way open. I love these zippers because they go all the way to the bottom. You've got absolutely tons and tons of room in here. Uh, there is smaller pouches for uh, you know, chargers and things like that. That's what I use them for. And you've got a really secure case down here that zips up at the bottom. I, I put a little bit more you know, valuable stuff down there at the bottom. It's not something that someone can kind of unzip this and reach in and take anything while you're you know, you're traveling or whatever. These things do have little lockable sections on the zippers. And then on the back, we have a separate pouch for laptop, for tablet, all that stuff. And it does have a little Velcro kind of seat belt. And this does have the lower back pouch right there. You can kind of see there, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but this gun does stick out a little bit. And this is a pretty small gun. Can I get that zipped up? Oh, you can get that zipped up. So yeah, obviously, I mean, obviously you're not flying with that, but if you're, you know, using this backpack for daily commute to the office or whatever, you can have a gun apparently this size or smaller and it'll fit in there. So pretty cool little setup. The other thing I really like about this bag is the fact that it has this bat strap. And so on this Pelican, when I'm traveling around, flip that up, this strap will actually just go over that and then you can wheel both and this thing stays attached to your roller just like that. Really nice little travel backpack.
And then last but not least is my checked bag or my clothes bag. This is the one that I've found I like the most. This one is made by the North Face. I think it's called the Rolling Thunder. It's their smaller size. They have this size and a bigger size. Most of my trips are three to four days or less. So I don't wanna be taking a ton of, of clothes and things with me. Uh, I think this one just looks really, really nice. I love the red accent wheels. It's insanely, insanely smooth to roll around the, the I almost said neighborhood, airport. Um, <laughs> I like how there are handles on all three sides. So you've got really robust handles that you feel like, like you can see they're triple stitched, man. Those things are not going anywhere. And then one up top, you do have a little mini zip pouch right here for quick access stuff on top. And then you also have this additional like really nice little pouch on the top here that I use for just accessories and things like that. Things that you want to be able to access quickly. And then underneath this is just your standard. I still have clothes in it literally from the last trip I went on that I just got back from. Clothes in there and then a zip pouch up here. So really, really simple bag, but I think that it looks really sleek. It doesn't seem to be too popular. You always see the same hard case with the four wheels on bottom. People are rolling that through the airport. And a baggage claim, I used to have one of those. I always did wonder which one was mine. So I really, really like this one. I like that it's soft on top, hard on bottom super, super smooth wheels, really great handle, multiple positions for height. So yeah, those are what I have found after years of traveling for work to be the essentials, to be the best of the best in each category. Lots of travel ahead. I'm going to Chicago next week, Miami, Montana, all over the place. So this is what I do for work. This is what I found works out the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. You got something out of it. And I hope that you enjoyed the, the fun little, you know, travel montages. We're gonna have more of those coming your way. That's all I've got for you guys today though. Check out those links down in the video description below if you were interested in any of these items. And we'll see you next time on Chat Christopher. Thanks for watching.